Hello and welcome back to another video on the Football Zone and to um, the return of the weekend preview. This time, Championship only. Premier League isn't back till next week. But yeah, the Championship is back this weekend and I am hyped up. And we're going to start off with a bang game on Friday night. Huddersfield versus Burnley. And yeah, this is a really interesting one. Obviously, it's hard to predict when you don't have any form guide. But Huddersfield, they've had a tumultuous last few weeks, losing all their key players. Burnley, you know, a bit of uncertainty. Um, under company, but yeah, I fancy them here just because of how bad the last few weeks been for them. So I'm going to say a narrow one little Burnley win. Moving on then to Blackburn versus QPR, and yeah, two teams for me which I expect will kind of be towards the mid table. Two new managers, both interesting, both quite risky. So it'll be interesting to see how it all goes really. Um, Blackburn and QPR, um, you know, pre-season has gone okay, I would say for them. Um, maybe could have been a bit better for QPR, but there we go. Um, but yeah, I mean, not too, can't read too much um into it, but I think yeah, this kind of got the feelings of like a draw between two teams who could easily be in the table. Two teams who I'd say are in a bit of trouble going into the season are Blackpool and Reading. Blackpool obviously losing Neil Critchley, um, the manager, um, and Jay appointing Mike Hatt on um, appointment I'm not totally sure about, to be honest. And um, Reading obviously losing key players like John Swift and Josh Lowen, um, who's obviously a big blow to them. You know, they brought in some replacements, but, you know, are they quite on the same level? I'm not so sure. And um, they only just narrowly avoid the relegation. So I think it's a game that both teams will be targeting, but with just home advantage, I'm going to say Blackpool will just nick it 1-0. Moving on then to Hull versus Bristol City. Um, and, yeah, both these teams have had kind of an interesting pre-season. Nigel Pearson and Joel Bristol City, you know, kind of just hoping to push them up a bit further up the table uh, this season after, you know, kind of a consolidation campaign last year. Hull, on the other hand, spends lots of money bringing players like John Michel Seri, which is an incredible signing at this level. Um... So, yeah, they'll want to push on, maybe even towards the playoffs this season. Um, and, yeah, this is a game where they'll be targeting thing, I think. I'm going to say 1-0. Moving on then to two teams who, let's face it, are run very differently behind the scenes at the moment. And that's Luton Town hosting Birmingham at Kenilworth Road. And, yeah, Luton obviously looking for a continuation of last season, the great season they had. Birmingham, on the other hand, it all seems to be chaos in the boardroom. John Eustace now the manager, one that I'm not too sure about, to be honest. Um... Yeah, and she might not even last in the job for long. So it does all seem to be a bit of a shambles there, to be honest. And yeah, it all kind of leads towards quite a comfortable Luton win here. I'm going to say 2-0. Moving on then to Millwall versus Stoke. And yeah, two teams that have had an interesting pre-season. Millwall, you know... um. I think um, they've got enough in their squad maybe to finally make a charge into the playoffs after having missed out uh, just about the last few seasons. And Stoke, lots of pressure on Michael O'Neill in pre-season. Maybe it hasn't gone quite to plan. Um, not a lot of hype from Stoke fans heading into the new season. But you never know, it could go um, either way this one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. I think it'll be close, but I'm going to say a draw. But moving on then to Wigan taking on Preston. Um... And yeah, I mean, like, Wigan um, coming up from League One, obviously, after the last few years they've been into, been through games, Wabin, etc., etc., it's great to see them back in the Championship and taking on a Preston side who finished last season relatively strongly under Ryan Lace. So I think both teams will have high hopes for the upcoming season. Um, and yeah, this should be a good game to kick things off. Um, and kind of kind of a hard one to predict as well. Um, but I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say 2 2. Moving on into quite an intriguing game Cardiff against Norwich. Cardiff, obviously, Steve Morrison um, second season first full season in the job and it'll be interesting to see what he can do with that Cardiff side um, against the Norris side who obviously with Dean Smith as the manager will be one of the favourites to go up again however losing Emmy at beginning of last year how will they fare in the championship without him it is a hard question to know Pookie's still there he's guaranteed goals um, but yeah Norwich will be an intriguing one this year um, but yeah I fancy him to have the better of Cardiff I'm not totally convinced but I'm going to say 2 now. Um, making their yearly return to the championship it's rather than they hold take on Swansea um, and Jeff and Rotherham will this finally be the year where they um, stay up and um, don't just be a yo yo cub um, who knows it'll be an intriguing one I'm not totally sure because they have lost a couple of key players but we'll, we'll see against the Swansea side who've got high hopes for this season I really feel like could uh, kind of make a push for the playoffs um, so yeah, it's an intriguing one. Rather than Warriors, you want to kick off their season strongly. But I feel like Swansea will just have more quality here. 1-0. Moving on then to a game between two teams who I'm really, really excited about this season. Middlesbrough versus West Brom. West Brom have obviously invested lots in the squad. And the squad now is looking great at the moment. It's like Jeb Wallace and John Swift, Daryl DK, etc, etc. Middlesbrough as well. It's a couple of signs that really caught my eye. The likes of Zach Steffen from Man City. That's a great signing. Don't really know how they pulled it off. And obviously up there, Chris Wilder. For me, probably the best manager in the division. Um, 
So, yeah, I mean, it's two teams that could be really exciting this season. And I think it'll be an entertaining draw between two good sides. Moving on then to Sunderland as they take on Coventry. Sunderland's return to the Championship finally after multiple years away. Really crazy how long they've been in the third tier for a cover their side against Coventry. And, yeah, I mean, like, this is kind of the game which I think Coventry would have been dreaded. They would have won the game against Sunderland in the middle of the season. But instead, I think the stadium would like, be rocking for a return of second tier football. Um, they will be up for it. And, yeah, I don't think Coventry will quite be able to handle that. I'm predicting a winning start for some in their life back in the Championship. I'm going to say two now. Moving on then to a relegated team taking on Sheffield United. Watford, um... Yeah, I mean, like a Vicarage Road, Rob Edwards is going to be an intriguing one because will it take time for him to adapt? I think it surely will, but will the Pozzo family give him time? That's another intriguing question. Um, and Jay, against the Sheffield United side... Um, who I would say have had a pretty strong season and are looking to build on their strong ends towards last season under Paul Hackingbottom in a game which I think will be closely fought and I'm going to say a draw yeah I don't think there'll be much separate the two sides 2-2 two, two. but anyway guys that's it for me thanks for much for watching and to like share subscribe those who want to come to the forum to thanks for watching for daily football news and subscribe to my channel I greatly appreciate it thanks so much for watching peace